Brain drain involves the migration of skilled workers out of their countries to more developed countries in search of a better standard of living in terms of better remuneration, better working conditions and political stability. Statistics from the World Health Organization shows that Nigeria currently has a shortage of medical doctors with a physician to patient ratio of 4 doctors to 10,000 patients. Meanwhile, in the US, the ratio is 26 doctors per 10,000 people and 28 in the United Kingdom. Speaking with respondents on how brain drain can be curbed in the health sector, a respondent stated that remuneration given to nurses and doctors should be upscaled with other incentives and good working environment should be enhanced. We have the issue of remuneration and uh, also we also have uh, um, basically it's generally on poor, poor package as well as salary. Um, so aside the, aside um, salaries being received, um, we also have other other incentives that are not even um, given to these workers, and so some of them are not paid, some some of them rather are not paid as as I went to you, and so poor working environment uh, is making them to leave the country. People are leaving for good. Over there, you are talking about in US. Even though you are sleeping along the street, when you any work you are doing, as you get satisfaction from it, and when you transfer that money back to Nigeria, you know what that will give you. So to make the things comfortable for us. All doctors in Nigeria are very good overseas. Why can't they keep them here? Eh? Let pay them what they want and let them look. For instance, I'm sick now. I'm a pensioner. The money is not enough to, to, uh, to for me to be able to take care of myself. Eh? But the government should do the needful for every person to be happy. That is the truth. Oh. That is the truth. So they, they, they let them stop. I think this, gov this particular government wants to stop their movement to overseas. I hope in the next few months things will work well for them. Although respondents decried the poor working conditions and outdated facilities in health centers and hospitals, stressing that if a good working condition is sustained, better equipped facilities with other incentives made available to doctors and nurses, it will help in reducing the rate at which they migrate out of the country. So if anybody has the opportunity to jackpa, ah, my sister, you jackpa, me never as a vaccinity. I don't jackpa. Do you understand? So if, if the government want them to, 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 to stay back, I mean, so it's, it's, it's just, it's simple. You know, pay more attention to the healthcare sector. You know, if, if possible, increase their salaries and, you know, improve the, 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 the healthcare sector. If you are giving me work to do, and you give me a good environment to carry out my work. You give me everything that I need to do my work well. I will do the work and I will have nothing to complain about. They should work on their equipment and they should work on the education level. They should start them from the start, oh, not when they get to university before they not be teaching, no. From the start, there will be a school or a foundation, whatever, that will be teaching children that will really love to do that such uh, kind of job. You don't you know, understand what I'm saying. So that's my own opinion. They should start it from the scratch. Respondents appeal to the government to pay attention to the health sector by putting the right things in place as the country population keep increasing by the day. They stated that an appreciable number of health workers would gladly practice in Nigeria as far as their pay can meet their every need in a thriving economy. To sing to Lua Loju, reporting for BTV News.